Thank you very much, Janu. Eugene police officer Chris Kilcullen's killer is going to be conditionally released from the Oregon State Mental Hospital facility. The Psychiatric Review Board made that decision just hours ago. KZI 9 News reporter Nat Wynn was there and is live now from Salem with reaction from Chris's family and friends. Nat? That is right. It's been at least three and a half years since Cheryl Kidd took Chris Kilcullen's life just off the highway that now bears his name in Springfield. And today, friends and family once again voiced their frustrations over the situation, this time about the board's decision to release Kidd to Pendleton Cottages. Now, a, re a review by Pendleton Cottages recently wrapped up with an overnight stay last month. Now, does the, today, board members reviewed the report along with testimonies from various staff and victims in the case. And despite reassurances that security at the new facility would be equivalent to that at the hospital, Kill Cullen's friends and family argue the decision wouldn't be in anyone's best interest except kids. I guess my frustration begins with Cheryl Kidd being offered any type of privilege. Cheryl Kidd was the impetus for Senate Bill 421, which designates offenders as extremely dangerous. For her to be eligible for any privilege to me is ridiculous and irresponsible. During the hearing, the defense requested if the board approved kids move that there were certain stipulations it wanted along with it, including notice of any changes to placement or privilege, as well as mental and physical health, the latter pending approval by kids physicians. And while friends and family say this is the best case scenario for them, it's a tough one to swallow. I find it upsetting that the great loss she levied on us is of no consequence in the decision you will make today. But, uh, there's simply no justice for the family and community of what is happening. Now, the board says while they completely understood how Chris Kilcullen's family and friends felt that this was just the way the system was built to work. Now, hospital staff members who have worked with Kid say that she has improved since she was admitted back uh, three and a half years ago, but it appears to have plateaued at this time, and they say that is likely she'll need supervision for the rest of her life. Now, as for when Kid is expected to move to this new facility, the Oregon State Hospital staff say that is all pending bed availability. Live in Salem, Nguyen, KEZI 9 News.